Welcome to the WebBikeWorld.com quick video tour of the HJC CL16 motorcycle helmet. Please visit WebBikeWorld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this product and many more. The new CL16 is the latest in HJC's value line of helmets. The CL series is their mid-range bread and butter lineup and buying a CL has always been a pretty safe choice. The CL really isn't all that different from the CL14 we reviewed a couple years ago, and that's probably a good thing. Once you have a winning combination, you don't want to mess with it much, and you certainly don't want to add cost. And talk about value, the CL16 meets the new Snell 2010 standard, as well as DOT when sold in the U.S. It's probably one of the least expensive Snell 2010 approved helmets available. The paint and graphics are about as expected for a helmet that can be had for as little as $130 list price. Not bad quality overall, but we did notice a few dust mites here and there under the paint. This yellow Hellion graphic is nice, and it also adds visibility to the rider, and they come in red and blue also. The CL16 is also available in solid colors and something called the Carnage pattern. The face shield has a lock on the side to keep it secure. It has a slight first opening that's rather loose for defogging, then a second opening, and then all the way open. To remove the face shield, push back on the HJC Rapid Fire Release, and it pops right out. To replace it, you don't even have to hold the Rapid Fire Release. Just push the face shield back in, and it sets when it's closed. The shell feels comparatively stiff and sturdy. The helmet also has vents directly through the chin bar, a feature missing on helmets costing as much as five times more, and there's also a built-in strip of Velcro which can be used to attach a microphone for an intercom. The liner is okay, it's pretty comfortable but certainly not like an Arai, and the liner on the CL16 is even removable. The chin vent has a decent feel, but the top vent has a pretty small rocker switch. Unfortunately, it's almost impossible to tell whether the vents do anything or not, this is one helmet that really needs a chin curtain because a lot of air flows up from under the chin bar and that seems to provide the majority of the ventilation. This problem can be fairly easily solved though with a wind jammer or other type of under helmet wind block. It's too bad HJC didn't spend a few more cents to offer a chin curtain on the helmet. The rest of the helmet has good serviceable quality. Again, it isn't a $500 Shark, Showy, or Arai, but then again, it isn't a $500 helmet. The bottom line here is that if you're looking for a pretty good helmet from a name brand helmet manufacturer that also meets Snell 2010 standards and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, the HJC CL16 is definitely worth a try. So that's the WebBikeWorld.com quick video tour of the new HJC CL16 motorcycle helmet. Be sure to visit WebBikeWorld.com for the full review and more details on this helmet and over 900 more highly detailed motorcycle product reviews and information. Thanks for watching.